Uh, I thought that um, I hope the big kid is okay. Anybody know how he is? Bruno? MRI in the morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just because I, I think that's a, a team that could go a long way in a tournament. Um, we played well offensively for the most part. Um, and we continue to struggle to defend. Most of the guys in our locker room are better def offensively than they are defensively. And um, um, for me, I'm always a glass half full. Um, Florida holds teams underneath their averages. Um, and we were able to score um, against a pretty good defensive team. Florida did a good job moving their ball screens to different parts of the floor in the second half, and and um, it was um, it um, it you know it bothered us. Bruce, what do you tell your team about 114 allowed? That's the most by this program in 23 years. This program is in good shape, so I'm not worried about the 23-year history of our program. Coach? I'll take the question. That's good. That's good. Shoot, we could we could sit there, we could talk about records all we want. You know? Any possible lineup changes for <laughs> Um most of our players are better offensively than defensively. So you know, could there be an adjustment, you know, with personnel in the second half, it's possible. But if I thought it was just gonna be personnel. I would have made you know those changes beforehand. Yeah, he missed a lot right there. I mean, he had a lot of balls right at the rim, and um, like he got 12 shots. I don't know that I remember maybe one bad shot. I mean, he got good looks. He just he just wasn't able to finish. And uh, we shot the ball well from three early. And didn't you know? Didn't shoot it well late, but it's difficult, you know, when you're constantly taking the ball out of the, out of the net and getting beat back door, and you know, just looked at times very helpless out there defensively. Am I good? Thanks. I'll take a few questions for Anthony. Uh, Bryce was finding me on good passes, so he was really um, looking to drive the ball and dish it off. So I felt like uh, that connection between me and him was really working tonight. What, what would you say happened in the second half when they pulled away? It just didn't play as intense as we did the first half. The first half, I felt like we were a lot more excited for playing. And being on the other end of the court, we didn't have our bench kind of there to like shout out coverages and things. So we were a little further away, and that just kind of just made it more difficult for us. I'm not sure if it's because we're young or what. I feel like we, we are a good defensive team in the way we play in the first half, but we just got to find something to make it translate over to the second half. Is there a leader in this locker room among the players? Our seniors are our leaders. They're our most vocal. So yeah, we we have some good some good vocal guys. Coach Pearl credits Coach Person for being the defensive coordinator. What has Coach Person brought to this team? He's brought a lot to this team. He's, he's the most intense guy. He spends a lot of hours in the scout helping us. It's it's not his his problem. It's up to us to retain the information that he gives us because he does such a great job. And we just have to make it, his hard work translate to our hard work on the court. Every night, I apologize for asking you to speak for Austin, but you play the same position. Is it frustrating right now when you're not getting – I do what I can. I sell my man in hopes that they, they pass it. If they don't, if they drive, I just try to make sure my man can't come over to block a shot. I'm just a guy that wants to wants to help the team any way he can. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.